Well, uh, Stuart O'Grady, this is the uh, type of event that he does like. He's very good behind the Durnies. Uh, for the first time here at the Superdrome, it's, uh, they've restricted the gears uh, on all the, uh, the push bikes and uh, to a, a gear ratio of 48-14. That's the sprockets that they're using on the bikes to try and sort of make it a little bit more even. Uh, Stuart O'Grady, of course, he's never been beaten here and uh, I don't see any different in this uh, this one at all. A lot will depend on Brett Aitken. Uh, Brett uh, needs to probably not go out uh, as hard as what he does uh, normally. If he can just control himself a little bit, he may put a little bit of pressure on Stuart. But uh, I would have to say that I will stick with Stuart O'Grady. Bradley McGee may be an upset. Bradley also is very good behind the Durnies. Um, a lot depends on what the, the seating is or where they draw, the position they draw. If you draw number six, um, you're probably giving around about a hundred metres start. It takes a little bit of time to get behind your, uh, your pacer. Um, so it's always nice to draw number one. So seating does play a major part in this, although it's over 30 laps and it does give you time to get to the front. Brett Aitken trying to force his way back into the, uh, the national team. Brett's going to do it tough. We've got a, an array of talent. We've got 16 uh, world champions at the moment, which is magnificent. And uh, Brett, as races like these, he will naturally try to force his way back in. So uh, he straightens his glasses up there. He's a little bit relaxed. Uh, we'll just have a look at the positions. Uh, the New Zealander, uh, Julian, uh, has drawn, drawn number one position. Uh, number two is Tim, Tim O'Shaughnessy. I'm not sure at this stage. It looks like it could be uh, Glenn Thompson. Uh, in third spot, Brett Aiken has drawn fourth, and uh, Stuart O'Grady in fifth spot. And Brett Aiken has been guided by the experienced journey rider, Kim Clark in front. Second is O'Shaughnessy. Third now is uh, Stuart O'Grady. He's up the feet of the journey here at the Superdrome. He moves up the third quite easily. Now applies the pressure with four laps to go as O'Grady sweeping around the field. But Aiken still leads out. Here's Aiken looking good there, but here comes O'Grady. As he cruises up on the outside of Aiken with two laps to go. Incredible speed behind the dirty these cyclists generate. Aiken in front. Here comes O'Grady on the outside. They're approaching the build out. It's Aiken lead. But O'Grady moves up comfortably on the outside with Brian guiding him his father. Stuart O'Grady gets the build lap. Great tussle with Brett Aiken. They drop off Kim O'Shaughnessy. Aiken kicks back on the inside. O'Grady coming in. Brent Dawson, Luke Kuss, and Tim Lyons. And the journey riders are very important. Brett Aitken's got Tim Clark and uh, Luke Cook, Brian O'Grady, who, of course, combined so well with his son, Stuart O'Grady. And he was almost unbeatable in this event for a number of years here at the Superdrive. But uh, Aitken was the first person to beat Stuart O'Grady, so he'd be the logical favourite. Picture of concentration at the front. Field is away. Pretty smooth start too. Making his move on the outside is right at number 11, and that is Nigel Brick back in the national squad under Charlie Walsh. And he moves up to the outside of Brent Dawson, but Foot still leading with seven laps to go. Brent's hard to catch him here. The guys in front, you know, they're. I think it's uh, Brent Dawson is fine off the wheel. Dawson is in all sorts of trouble off the wheel. And Dawson is out of contest. You'll feel because the Kermans, the dirty rider, has lost contact completely with Brent Dawson. It allows Bush to be a very handy race. 
of about 15 metres. Here comes Brett Aiken sweeping around the field as he left his run too late. We'll wait and see. Puss leads by about 15 metres. And second wheel now is right at number 12, Luke Robinson down after. Luke Puss, here comes Aiken. Aiken with a brilliant turn of speed. Moves into third place. Puss is coming up on the field right on the second. Aiken third now. And he's combining brilliantly with Kim Clark in the journey. And he's really in the leaders. As the journey getting to the exciting stage of the race. And the fresh cyclist on the seat is Brett Aiken. Can he sustain the run? Only time will tell. As the riders will approach the bell lap now. A stirring finish for the 30. Puss leads out by about five metres. Trying to raise the effort on the outside is Brett Aiken. Hoking up on the middle is Luke Roberts. But Puss may take too many punches in the front straight. And Luke Puss, the driver of the line. And Puss wins from Roberts. Third is Aiken. For the five performance. Victorian Dylan Boone at the tail. 